<laughs> Hello there. Yeah. Sorry about the sheep in the background. This is James, uh, Gamertag Feld Phoenix. Uh, first thing is a big apologies to all the people out there who've requested and sent me uh, messages via YouTube about my Hampton Court Palace Minecraft build. This is uh, my second update. It has been a long time. I do apologize, but it's mainly about the fact that, as I said on my previous video, life gets in the way, being a full time parent and. Uh, also, you need that kind of inspiration and that kind of want to do a build like this. And I'm quite happy to, and I think it works better when I walk away from, from this build and then come back to it and walk away from it. But uh, an update here, the first thing is the houses on the side of Hampton Gore Palace that attach to the Seymour Gate section. Um, I'm not sure really it's one of these buildings. I think this is sort of administration buildings there and, uh, um, and sort of, uh, industries and establishments i think use those rooms again this is the main courtyard uh this is on the last video um this bit coming up uh i'm about to show you was the bit i had real uh struggle with um i took it uh i took a long time to do this bit and uh it was quite uh painstakingly difficult to do especially as once I've set the boundaries and the limits I had to work within them um, and just before the end of 2018 I went back to Hampton Court Palace and this bit here I took photographs um, and a video of this small courtyard and those are actually the young Henry rooms um, that's sort of the entrance to there and this sort of area with the chimneys uh, it was a bit of a nightmare to do but I finally done it um, I've started on the Baroque period now. It's not Renaissance, sorry, it's Baroque. I said that in the last video, so again, another apology. Um, this is Fountain Court. Um, it's hopefully what it should look like. Um, I've actually done it to the detail of the pillars as well. So it has been measured up to how many pillars should be on each side. And that is generally how it should look, apart from the round windows at the top, obviously I can't do. And uh, the white block where the fountain should be. Um, there you go, taking and obviously some of the roof is going on, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's quite impressive. It's a massive build, but it is slowly getting there. And uh, here we are looking at the, um, I believe, the east side. So uh, the side in front of you, that's the east side of the palace. Um, that's because the the front of the palace, the Tudor section, is actually from the west side, and I don't want to sound like Ali G there. And uh, yep, now we are on the, I believe, the south side. And I've started to work on the gardens. Um, uh, that is quite difficult to do, especially as the gardens have a lot of curls. Um, some people have a real skill at doing Minecraft and being able to sort of create the circular um, patterns. I'm struggling a bit with this. Um, as you, it's a little bit of. Uh, decoration and detail going in there with the plant pots and the fencing etc um that building there i'm not sure what it's called but that house houses the paintings caesar's triumph or the triumphs of caesar i'm never too sure which one's which where charles the first brought over the paintings i believe from rome or bought prior to the civil war and that's the main courtyard again so we've come full circle and now we're just doing a quick aerial shot so i have done quite a lot since as you can see the roof there the roof color change um so yeah it has i have done a lot but hopefully this helps and hopefully this has been a little bit more of an update for you but i am planning to do more soon thank you very much take care and i look forward to your views and comments